everyone, this is Wendy Bean, and today with you, I will be reviewing products by Arteza, their Skin Tone 36 Pack Everblend Art Markers, as well as their Mixed Media Pan. This video was not sponsored by Arteza, I purchased both of these items myself. And let's get started! I'll begin by showing you the packaging of the Everblend Art Markers. These markers price about $38. They are divided into three different sections. They come in light pinks and peaches on the first one, followed by lighter browns. Then there's the final section has the more darker tones. Now I did rearrange these markers to my liking for this video. Next I'll show you the marker itself. It has two different nibs, a chisel tip followed by a fine tip. The fine tip can be identified by the color band at the bottom of the cap, as you can see below. Both ends of the marker have a name as well as a number above it, and on the actual barrel of the marker, it does not have the name on there, just on the caps. Next, I'll show you their pen. Here I've already created a chart to organize my markers. Let's zoom in a bit so you can see some of the names. I wrote the name on top of each marker followed by their identification number. Don't really know how they're organized, but some of them match up like A605, A606, but overall kind of random. Next, I'll show you quartz white. Here I am using the chisel tip, I'm just going across. And below, I'll add the fine tip to show you that as well. After I did this swatch, I wanted to see if the cap actually matched the swatch. And I would say for this one, it did not since the cap shows a light pink on it versus the light peach we see below. As I said before, the fine tip has that color band that's the same color that we see on the cap. And here's a close up of that and that is only on the fine tip side. The next color I am swatching is Vanilla A602. Now I would say this marker actually matches the color on the cap. Then after this I will be doing a time lapse of the rest of the colors in this 36 pack. chart is all filled in. I have organized these by color families. They're all the various shades. At the top, I have the very light pinks going into the darker pinks, followed by oranges, and then some grays in between the browns, followed by the darker browns and the blacks. Here they are again. Those are the lightest colors versus the darkest colors included in this pack. With regards to their numbering system, I don't Really know much about it. In certain cases, it did follow it. It was off by two or it was off by like five. It just depended really. Next, I would like to talk about the quality of this paper. It does have some small texture on it and there it's not that thick, so there is some ghost scene that we see coming through, but nothing bled through to the next page. Overall, I like the paper. It really soaks in the colors. Next, I have also taken the saturation away. And you can see now the tones that we have. We have a lot of dark tones and mid tones and some few light colors within this packet. Moving on, I will now be using these markers on Canton's XL Mixed Mini Pad. I will be showing you swatches of the lightest and darkest colors as well as doing the cap test and showing you how they blend together. Also, I will be choosing these markers at random. For our first test, I am testing out A610 Pale Orange. Let's swatch it and let's see if our color matches the cap. 
I would say this is a match. Now on to the next color. I'm testing out A489, Cherry Blossom Pink. Let's go for that swatch. Does it match or not? Now with this one, I would say it is a match. Next color is A606, Mango. Going over my swatch. Let's line up the cap. And once again, I would say this is a match. On here, it does look like it's the cap is brighter, but it does match. Next color, A602, Vanilla. This one here is the lightest color that you will see in the packet. The darkest color is A628, Espresso Brown. Moving on, we will now do the blending. See how these colors do with each other. Now I lay a darker shade on top. It does go over that smoothly. And I think it blends overall nicely. I add another darker shade and go on top. Now I do notice that there is that square in between them. So let's try this again. Swatch another color. Place a little darker shade on top. Plus another darker shade on top see how these colors blend overall. Overall, I think these markers do blend well. I know there's darkness in between my overlapping of shades, but I think that's because I didn't press hard enough like I did on the second blending. Time to put these markers at work. Here is the design I came up with. Flowers combined with leaves coming underneath it. Here are my colors for my flower followed by my color choices for my leaves, all labeled for you. Then you will be enjoying the time lapse of the process of how this piece came to be. Enjoy! The sun setting, it looks so beautiful against the sunlight. I overall really enjoyed creating this piece. The markers really did blend well on this paper. I saw no signs of streaks within my flower, which is amazing. And the same with the leaves, there is hardly any streaking on the strokes that I made. And then I love the white gel pen that I chose to outline the flower with. It just makes everything pop out more. Definitely recommend. Another thing to know that these markers, their caps do not line up, so they will not fit on the other end. If that bothers you, I'm sorry. As for me, it didn't really bother me much. And they also don't really roll that easily because of their triangular shape, and the cap does have a bit of grip to make it easy for you to pull off the cap. With regards to pencil markings, make sure you just draw lightly, try to erase it before going in with the marker because I did notice that my pencil markings were not easy to erase afterwards, but you can only see them if you look up closely. Next, there is no bleed through on the following right page, just ghosting on the back of my page, but other than that, there isn't a problem. Overall, I would definitely recommend these markers. There is hardly any noticeable streaking at all. The selection of colors is also lovely. 
thank you for watching this video i really enjoyed reviewing a product for the first time and i am really in love with this color selection honestly the pinks and the peaches are making this all worth it as well as the browns you can check me out on instagram as well i'm about bullet journaling but for today i got to review my first product uh, we'll also have another review video coming up until then Thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this review.